I welcome you all to my lecture. I'm Ms. T. R. Sambavi, Assistant Professor from Department of Industrial Biotechnology. I'm here to teach Enzyme Engineering and Technology subject. So today's topic is application of cellulase enzyme in biofuel industries. So we are going to talk about what are all the application of uh, you know cellulase enzyme in biofuel industries. Like what is the significance of you know cellulase enzyme in biofuel industries? So introduction. Uh, what is the cellulase enzyme? What are cellulase enzyme? So the cellulases are a multi-enzyme system. What is this multi-enzyme system? This is because the cellulase enzyme is, uh, you know, not only one uh, enzyme is involved in this. It is a multi-enzyme system complex. So it has uh, three kind of enzymes in the so in, under the same uh, name, that is cellulase. It has three enzymes with different actions in it. So that is why we call them as multi-enzyme system. So what is the cellulase is going to do? The cellulase is going to convert a substrate called cellulose. What is a substrate? So any uh, reaction, the initial uh, molecule or the initial uh, material that is going to be converted into a product is called a substrate. So we saw in the previous classes about what is a substrate, what is an enzyme and what is a product. So now here we can see the cellulase uh, enzyme is going to you know, act on the substrate called cellulose and going to convert them into glucose. Why converting your cellulose to glucose? What is your cellulose? So the cellulose is, uh, you know, consists of, it's a polymer, it consists of, uh, it's a polysaccharide, it consists of more than 10,000 glucose units. So all these, uh, you know, 10, uh, more than 10,000 glucose, individual units of glucose are, uh, you know, condensed to form this substance called cellulose. So the cellulase enzyme is going to act on this substrate called cellulose and convert them into glucose. This process is called as hydrolysis. Uh, we have uh, already seen uh, what are all the different uh, you know, classes of enzyme and what kind of reaction they are going to catalyze, uh, what kind of reactions they are going to facilitate. So we saw about hydrolysis also. So that, uh, yes, this hydrolysis process is uh, you know, utilized in converting your cellulose substrate into glucose. So exponentially increasing global market demand. Yes, the you know uh, the cellulase enzyme have uh, got a very good uh, global market. The demand for this enzyme is uh, very uh, high these days because it is not only used in biofuel industry. Uh, just to highlight the uh, you know major use of cellulose uh, cellulase enzyme, I have taken this biofuel industry. Apart from this biofuel industry, cellulase enzyme is used in a lot of industries. So in paper and uh, pulp industry, what is the application of this enzyme in paper and pulp industry? So for the purpose called de-inking, okay? The purpose called de-inking. Uh, what they will do is in paper and pulp industry, they are all like, you know, trying to recycle the used uh, products say for example newspapers and some printing agencies uh, they could have done some uh, you know uh, mass of printing in the paper because of you know they wanted to recycle this they wanted to you know uh, go for the renewable uh, source something like that so they do a process called de-inking the paper waste what they do is they take a mass of all this uh, waste paper that uh, like after printing the paper is uh, maximum they'll do newspapers because uh, after reading, like uh, the newspaper is, you know, uh, considered to be uh, waste or one of the waste. So they take this uh, waste papers and they do a process called de-inking where they will use cellulase enzyme. Okay. So that they'll use the cellulase enzyme in, uh, you know, they'll act on the cellulose because this paper is made out of uh, uh, wood, you know, which is very rich in the cellulose content. So what this enzyme basically does is it act on the substrate cellulose and converting them into glucose. So basically they'll, you know, break down the uh, 
cellular substance so that the ink which has been printed on the paper will be like you know be removed easily so for that purpose they are using this uh, uh, cellulase enzyme uh, in a process called de inking and in case of textile industry this is also one major industry which rely on the you know action of cellulase enzyme what they does is a process called bio polishing so in this picture i have uh, given a blue color fabric uh, you can see the difference in the two pictures in the left hand side picture it uh, the surface of your fabric is kind of very you know rough you it had a very having a very rough surface because uh, after uh, this, if you buy any cotton clothes you can see after several uh, uses all the uh, i mean the surface if you see in the surface it becomes rough because the uh, some protrusion of this uh, you know uh, cotton mask you can see that after several uh, washes uh, sometimes because we use brush for washing sometimes we put in the machine so anyways like either ways if we wash it uh, you know the surface of your uh, fabric will become rough because of this uh, uh, protrusions of uh, your uh, cotton in that so in order to make your uh, uh, rough surface of your fabric to become smoother in order to give them a uh, new uh, look all this textile industry what they do is uh, uh, we can't tell textile industry this detergents and all okay they what they use is a process called bio polishing where you can convert your uh, rough uh, uh, rough surfaced fabric to a smooth one how they are doing this okay if uh, again in cotton fabric uh, is again going to be rich in cellulose isn't it like how uh, paper is made out of wood and uh, plants are said to be the major source of cellulose likewise this uh, cotton material uh, they are rich in cellulose so they'll add the cellulase enzyme into the or uh, you know uh, old fabric or this rough or surfaced fabric what they will do is they are again going to you know keep this uh, cellulose they are going to act upon the substrate and keep them into the small small units and this is going to remove all the protruding uh, uh, mass of cotton in the surface of your fabric so that it will give a uh, good finishing uh, it will give us very smooth surface to your fabric so this is how they sometimes uh, recycle the fabric or this is how sometimes they you know they'll uh, you know recover the fabric after getting damaged so for that purpose the uh, cellulase enzyme is used in textile industry and in the case of biofuel industry here comes the major use so this uh, uh, in this class we are going to talk about the biofuel industry application of your cellulase enzyme in biofuel industry where they do a process called saccharification so uh, we'll be talking about the saccharification process in the coming slides in the same class so now uh okay before uh, having a look at this uh, slide we'll uh, nothing this is like uh, giving the mechanism of your uh, enzyme cellulase enzyme so as i told the cellulase enzyme is going to be a, a multi enzyme system okay it's going to be complex of three different enzymes what are those three enzymes are one is endogluconase uh, also called as cmcase what is the cmcase it is carboxy methyl cellulose so they are also called as cmcase or endogluconase the second one is exogluconase or fpase filter paper ase and the third one is uh, beta glucosidase or cellulose okay what is this endogluconase this endogluconase are endoenzymes they uh, they come under the class of endoenzymes why do we call them endogluconase and endoenzymes this is because if you look into the you know structure of your uh, cellulose i have given the structure of cellulose here what they are doing is this when you add your cellulase enzyme to your uh, cellulose okay you can look into the structure uh, more than uh, i said like more than 10000 units of glucose are condensed to, together to form uh, the substance called uh, cellulose isn't it so what basically this 
enzyme is uh, going to do here. When you add your cellulase enzyme to your substrate cellulose, your endoglucolase enzyme will first come into action. Fine. Right? You can see this, uh, you know, small, small units of glucose. Okay. They are uh, uh, a linear chain is there and parallelly there is one chain. And these two chains are connected by a bond. You can, can you see that bond there? I guess. And these bonds are uh, beta glucose. Okay. Now what this uh, uh, endoglucanase is going to do is, this endoglucanase is going to cleave your uh, cellulose crystal into the linear chains, two li different linear chains. Okay. You can see the uh, first product. Once you add your uh, cellulase enzyme to cellulose, first endoglucanase is going to come and act upon the enzyme, uh, act upon the substrate, and they're going to cleave the you know parallel chains that uh, present for your cellulose, and uh, they'll cleave them into individual linear chains. So I have given one uh, linear chain here. Okay, can you see that? Yes. So the, the they uh, are acting in the uh, they are acting in the substrate to cleave the inner bond, okay? The bond that is present within the, uh, inside the substrate, okay? So that is why they are called as endogluconases, as they are cleaving the bond, which is present inside the compound, uh, which is linking two linear chains of your uh, substrate, two, uh, different cha two chains of your different, uh, uh, structure. So that's why they are called as endogluconases or endocellulases. Okay. So it cleaves the beta 1,4 bond in the cellulose chain, which is present inside the uh, component. Okay. So that is why they are called as endogluconases. And second one is exogluconases. So again, you can uh, get back to the mechanism here. So after your action of uh, you know, this endocellulase is, okay, it, uh, the second uh, part of the enzyme called exogluconase is getting into the action now. What this exogluconase uh, is going to do, they are going to act on the product which is formed from endogluconase. That is, they are going to act on the single linear chain that is, um, uh, you know, produced by the action of endogluconases, okay? So what they're going to do, they are going to cleave two, two units of glucose units. Can you see that uh, uh, the action of uh, cellulose enzyme uh, in the uh, bottom? Uh, you can see the it's a substance called cellobios. So these two units of glucose are called as cellobios. So uh, what this exogluconases is doing, they are going to cleave two, two units of cellulose from the linear chain, okay, from the product of your endogluconases. So now you can understand why we are calling them as exogluconases, because they are acting on the, uh, you know, bonds that is present outside, okay, they are bonds that is present outside the surface of your substrate. So that is why we are calling them as exogluconases. So you can now understand the difference between the endogluconases as well as the uh, exogluconases action, isn't it? So endogluconases is basically going to cleave the uh, bond which is present inside the compound and exogluconases are going to cleave the bond which is present outside the surface. Fine. So Getting back here, what are exogluconases? Now, cleaves two to four units from the end of the exposed chains produced by exogluconases. So, in simple words, we can say uh, they are going to cleave the product that came from the action of endogluconases. Okay, fine. So, what are beta glucosidase? What are beta glucosidase? So, this Again, we'll see the mechanism here. So once the uh, cello bias is formed, the cello biases, that is your uh, beta glucosidase, get into the action now. What they're going to do is, they are going to cleave the two to four units of glucose that is formed from the action of exogluconases into single uh, chain, that is into, sorry, into single 
glucose molecule into individual units of glucose so this is going to be the final product of your cellulase enzyme action so this is the overall mechanism or uh, action of uh, cellulase enzyme uh, which is used in biofuel industry so i'll see i'll talk about the you know the importance of this mechanism in biofuel industry why we have uh, you know exclusively taken this enzymes mechanism uh, in the in the uh, in the case of biofuel industry so what beta glucosidase is going to do it is going to hydrolyze exogluconase products to glucose so this is going to be the end product of this uh, reaction that is the final product of the reaction is your uh, glucose this is uh, how uh, a cellulose complex like uh, the 10000 units of uh, glucose more than 10000 units of glucose of course is going to you know get converted into glucose so step 1 is action of your endoglucanase which is going to you know uh, uh, act inside the uh, compound bond it breaks the bond that is present inside the substrate and uh, bring us two different linear units okay two different linear chain of your uh, glucose units and then comes your exogluconase which is going to act on the individual linear chain of your glucose units and convert them into 2 2 or 4 4 units of glucose which is called as cellulose so later comes your uh, beta glucosidase which is going to cleave these two units of uh, your cellulose into uh, glucose okay so which is going to be the final product and now let us uh, talk about the significance of cellulase in uh, biofuel industry so i told why we need to exclusively talk about this uh, cellulase enzyme mechanism here uh, so before getting into the uh, you know significance let us see, uh, see what is a biorefinery okay, before even going into the uh, biorefinery process flow let us uh, you know uh, know what is a biorefinery process means what is a biorefinery process nothing a biorefinery is a facility okay a biorefinery is uh, simply called a facility in which we are going to you know uh, produce alternative fuels okay uh, using a biological source we are going to you know produce biofuels okay uh, a facility in which we are going to produce a bio fuel from all biological sources are called bio refinery okay this bio refinery they have certain process flow okay as i told from any biological sources we are going to you know produce bio fuel before producing this we have several steps okay all bio refineries stick on to a particular uh, process flow okay from that process only we are going to get the end product so your first process is procurement and pre processing of your biomass so what is that procurement and pre processing of your biomass so let us take uh, a simple example uh, traditional from uh, traditional method till late like uh, many groups are working on you know rice straw you know this rice straw is uh, considered to be one agricultural waste so which comes under a bio stream waste okay so uh, this biofuel industries what they do is they procure this biomass and do a process called pre processing what is this pre processing before working with any biomass we do a simple process called pre processing uh, where we are going to focus on a particular compound uh, which is required for the conversion process that is in uh, if we take rice straw the major uh, components in it will be cellulose hemicellulose and lignin we'll forget about uh, hemicellulose and lignin here because that is not going to play a major role in understanding the significance of cellulase enzyme anyways so let us forget that and we'll focus on the cellulose and so this rice straw is uh, also rich in cellulose so that is why the uh, i just given this rice straw as an example there are a lot of other biomass also i don't want to you know deviate this topic into that uh, section now uh, so we'll take rice straw 
they'll procure this and do a process called pre-processing where you will uh, you know wash your biomass to remove any dirts and other things and after washing it be dried and then it will be pulverized to powder so this drying process and all uh, uh, here i just uh, tell like for a simple word i'm telling drying but in industrial level there are a lot of other processing need to be done even for this drying technique so they'll dry and then pulverize them into powder okay pre treatment of biomass to remove lignin and hemicellulose yes as i told we'll just ignore this lignin and hemicellulose here because we don't want uh, to you know work on lignin and hemicellulose here because we need only cellulose uh, we need to understand only cellulose mechanism so in order to understand the mechanism we need to know only about cellulose so in that biomass we need to have only cellulose so for that we need to do a process called pre treatment okay this pre treatment is of different uh, types that is physical pre treatment chemical pre treatment and biological pre treatment uh, we don't have to you know get deep into all this pre treatment techniques uh, because i just wanted to give you a basic uh, understanding about this bio refinery process that's why i uh, have mentioned uh, uh, all each and every step so this physical pre treatment uh, it involves using some uh, mechanical equipments for doing pre treatment this chemical pre treatment involves using certain chemicals to remove this lignin and hemicellulose that is uh, they'll choose chemicals which can you know degrade this lignin and hemicellulose from your biomass and uh, anyways this is not going to this uh, using this chemicals is not going to disturb your uh, cellu uh, cellulose here because if you look into the structure of this biomass uh, initial layer will be your lignin then this uh, hemicellulose will be kind of a fibers in which the cellulose are embedded to it so the cellulose is safely uh, you know secured by the lignin and hemicellulose layer so only if you you know destroy this lignin and hemicellulose layer you can get into cellulose so for that we use this physical uh, pre treatment method chemical pre treatment method and later this biological pre treatment method where they started using certain uh, microbes uh, it's a, actually a kind of uh, bioremediation work only where they'll be using this microbes to you know remove the uh, lignin and hemicellulose okay uh, simply let us uh, for your, for our understanding to make it simple let us say this mark there are certain microbes which is going to consume this lignin and hemicellulose okay fine so they do a simple uh, 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 pre treatment met uh, method called pre treatment to remove this lignin and hemicellulose from your biomass and then comes your enzymatic saccharification of cellulose polymer to monomeric beta d glucose units so what is this step is yes enzymatic saccharification saccharification is a process in which your cellulose is converted into glucose that is your cellulose is broken down into individual units of glucose that process is called as saccharification and we call it enzymatic saccharification because we are going to use cellulase so here is the exact action of your cellulase here is the uh, you know cellulase is uh, considered to be the hero here to, you know, for the enzymatic saccharification isn't it it is going to convert your cellulose to glucose so after conversion of your glucose they go for this uh, uh, you know uh, fermentation process so once converting your glucose into as your cellulose into glucose they again do a fermentation process uh, to convert them into uh, ethanol okay because uh, this uh, bio refinery process flow that i have given here is for producing bioethanol by bioethanol from a biological source so that is why we call them as bioethanol so this is how a uh, bio refinery process flow works for uh, producing bioethanol and uh, if you look why this biofuel industry is focusing more on uh, cellulase enzyme this is because uh, it is uh, this potential application of converting your cellulose into you know individual unit of glucose that itself is a very uh, you know there is the story like uh, we need to understand the importance of this particular enzyme in this industry 
and moreover uh, they you know invest around 45 to 50 percentage of your of the total uh, ethanol cost for producing this enzyme itself so they do uh, you know, produce this enzyme uh, obviously i spoke uh, spoke about the production of uh, enzyme in the previous class so how they produce so using a process called fermentation and uh, how they produce using native strain and uh, the wild strain and all so let's not get deep into the fermentation process and all now we'll uh, see it in the separate we'll see it separately in uh, the class so this is the significance of cellulase enzyme in biofuel industries okay so now uh, i said like uh, i uh, gave only rice straw as an example uh, here i just wanted to cite few uh, you know examples for the biomass which are uh, very rich in uh, cellulose since we are talking about cellulose enzyme the so we are we need to know about uh, different uh, substrate isn't it so that is why like i have given a um, uh, a lot of examples here so from kitchen waste Uh, they do a pretreatment process called uh, hydrothermal and dilute using a uh, dilute acids they do pretreatment uh, in order to remove lignin and hemicellulose and do the process called saccharification using cellulose enzyme okay this has been reported by this uh, uh, group at 2013 uh, say uh, same uh, work like uh, using cellulase and uh, different pretreatment method called uh, hydrothermal pretreatment they are all come under uh, you know physical method so they have used corn stover so not only uh, uh, rice straw uh, other agricultural waste maximum agricultural waste will be like you know uh, they found to be uh, very rich in uh, cellulose content so using corn stover uh, the same enzyme cellulose enzyme uh, a different group have uh, reported in 2013 and uh, this grass uh, yes grass is also said to be uh, one of the richest source for uh, cellulose so they have used this ammonia pretreatment method to remove lignin and hemicellulose and for saccharification they have used the cellulose enzyme and uh, if this work was uh, done by this uh, group at 2014 then uh, rice straw uh commonly in even in industries dry straw is uh, you know majorly used for this uh, saccharification process that is for production of bioethanol from uh, any biological sources maximum dry straw is used apart from that this uh, uh, sugarcane bagasse and recently like uh, the uh, bio the biomass is being like you know the uh, is uh, Uh, there are different types of biomass this uh, biomass comes from medical waste biomass comes from biological stream waste such as kitchen waste uh, you know, some fruits and uh, vegetable waste that uh, that has been generated in uh, you know local market okay so in uh, this class we have uh, seen the what is uh, cellulose enzyme and what the cellulase enzyme is going to do so the cellulase enzyme is going to convert your uh, uh, substrate cellulose which is your substrate your cellulose is your substrate so it is going to convert your cellulose into individual units of glucose fine uh, how this uh, what is the cellulose is uh, it is like uh, more than 10000 units of glucose are condensed to, to form uh, cellulose isn't it so that's what we saw here and we saw about different applications of cellulase apart from biofuel industries this cellulase is used in lot of other industries also uh, even in food industries cellulase enzymes are uh, used so uh, likewise in uh, uh, it is used in paper and pulp industry for a process called de inking then it is used in uh, textile industry for a process called biopolishing where you know you are going to uh, uh, recover your uh, cotton clothes okay once it is uh, damaged we do a process a process called biopolishing to in order to make your uh, cotton cloth surface uh, from a rough surface to a smooth surface obviously it is going to be turning into a smooth surface uh, it is going to give a new look for your fabric so it is used in that then later we saw the mechanism mechanism of cellulase enzyme so there were uh, three different complex in it one is endogluconases the other one is exogluconases 
and the other one is beta glucosidase it is called endogluconases because it is going to cleave the your know, two linear chains of uh, your uh, cellulose uh, into a single single chain and, uh, and this uh, bonding is present inside so that's why we are calling it as endogluconases and uh, the next act, uh, enzyme's action is your exogluconases it is again going to act on the linear chain and cleave them into two to four units of glucose and uh, that's why we call them uh, call them as exogluconases because the bonding is present inside the uh, compound so the, that's why we call them as uh, exogluconases and then comes the action of endogluconases so it is going to act on the product from exogluconases that is which is going to cleave into individual units of glucose uh, molecules that is it is going to cleave that two to four uh, uh, chains of glucose in molecules into a uh, single unit of glucose molecules then uh, we, this is for, this is the you know the exact mechanism of your cellulase enzyme and then we saw about uh, this uh, biorefinery uh, process flow like uh, from uh, biomass to ethanol what are all the processes uh, involved in the biorefinery step and uh, where this uh, cellulase enzyme is exactly you know used in biofuel industries and why we are uh, focusing on cellulase enzyme why all the all the enzyme industries are you know uh, focusing on cellulase enzyme so we came to know the why the cellulase enzyme is in demand the demand for the cellulase enzyme is high this is because it is going to you know uh, play a major role in this biofuel industry in uh, a process called saccharification so uh, then later now we saw what are all the different biomasses also that is being used we saw about the biomass just because this uh, we need to know about the substrate okay we are uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, enzyme and uh, it is necessary for us to you know what are all the different substrate what are all the different groups of substrates that are available for this enzyme to uh, convert them into products Okay, so that's all about today's class and thank you.